Hi everyone, I hope that you are all well. Today we will be doing a dumbbell upper body circuit. So we will be doing 10 reps of each exercise for three sets with one minute's rest in between. So there is lots of supersets in this recording today. I hope you all enjoy and let me know how you get on. So to start, I'm going to do some band pull apart to warm up the chest area. All the exercises in the warm up, we will be performing 10 reps of. I will be moving on to banded lat pull down. So you want to bring your arms above your head and pull your elbows down towards your sides. This will warm up your back muscles, especially the lat. Next, we will be moving on to band rotation. So you want to pull the band tight, bring it slowly around your head down to your hips, and then back over to the front. So we'll be moving on to floor banded chest press. So we want to open up the band, put it along the back of your shoulders whilst laying down and push up towards the sky with the band and lower it back down. For our final warm up movement, we will be doing banded bent over rows. So we want to hinge at the hips and roll the shoulders back to ensure our back makes a straight line and that we are in good posture. We want to pull the elbows up high, making sure they're as close to the body as they can be. Next, we'll be moving on to floor chest press and flies. So we want to do exactly the same movement as we did with the resistance band for the presses. So we want our elbows to not flare out wide, so to bring slightly in towards your body. And we want to bring it down slowly and push it back up slowly and with control. We will be completing 10 reps of both exercises for three sets with a minute's rest in between. Next we'll be doing chest fly. So we want to turn the dumbbells horizontal and with a slight bend in the elbow, bring our arms back down to the floor with control to our sides and then bring it back up to the middle.
now you have completed your first set you can now pause the video, take a minute's rest and complete two more sets before moving on to our next chest superset. For our next superset we will be doing push-ups and low flies. For the push-ups it is down to you whether you are on your hands or your knees or you can change midway through. Just as before we'll be doing three sets of 10 reps with a minute's rest in between. For the push-ups we want stack joints so we want for our wrists to be in line with our shoulders and if you are on your toes you want to ensure your back is flat by pushing your heels away from you For the low flies we want our dumbbells at our sides and we want to bring them up so they are level with our shoulders. In this video it looks like I'm going higher, however that is because of the angle of the camera. I do each um, arm individually, however you can do both at the same time if you want to. You have now done your first superset, well done. At this point you can pause, take a minute's rest and repeat two more times before moving on to our back muscles. we will be doing bent over rows and renegade rows as a superset. So for bent over rows, just like in the beginning, we want to hinge at the hips, roll our shoulders back and a slight bend in our knee to ensure that we are in good posture. And we want to bring our elbows up to our sides and really squeeze the shoulder blades together at the top. Once again, we will be doing 10 reps of each exercise for three sets. And we are completing the renegade rows, we want to be in a push-up position. So we want to be on our toes with a flat back and for our stacks to be joint. And then we want to do a bent over row motion by bringing the elbow close to the side and really squeezing the shoulder blade at the top. It is really important to ensure your core is engaged to stabilise yourself when doing this movement. Just like the push-ups, you have the options to go down on your knees or to take the weight away and just to bring your elbows up to your sides.
We have just done your first back superset. So as before, we will take a minute's rest and repeat twice before we move on to our second back superset. Our next superset is dumbbell pullovers and back extensions. So we want to have the dumbbell at chest height when we are laying down and we want to slowly bring it over our heads back towards the floor and before we hit the floor we slowly want to bring it back towards our chest again and we'll be doing both moves for 10 reps for 3 sets with a minute's rest in between. Next we move on to back extension so we want to lie on our front with our hands towards our temples and we really want to engage our core and our glutes to hold us down as we raise the top of our body up towards the sky. So our feet will be glued to the floor as we squeeze our glutes together. Just as before, we will take a minute's rest and complete two more sets before we move into our shoulder superset. So next we will be moving on to shoulder press and dumbbell front raises with twists. For the shoulder press I did each arm individually, however you can do both at the same time. So we will be doing 10 reps of each exercise again for 3 sets of minutes rest in between. And for the shoulder press you really want to focus on pushing that dumbbell up. So we want to bring it back down and push it back up with control and we want the elbows to be slightly tucked in and not flared out to the side to protect our rotator cuffs from injury. As we move on to our front raises, you want to grab the dumbbell in both hands, raise it 
up so it's level with your shoulders in this video it will look like i am higher once again but that is due to the angle and we want to twist the dumbbell to one side bring it back to the middle and twist the other side before bringing it back down Well done guys, you have just finished your first shoulder superset. So next, take one minute's rest and then repeat two more times before we move into another shoulder superset. Next we'll be doing upright rows supersetted with lateral raises. So for the upright rows we want to bring the dumbbell up to chest height, rolling the shoulders back and really squeezing the shoulder blades and the trap muscles. And we'll be doing this for 10 reps of three sets with a minute's rest in between. For the lateral raises we want a slight bend in the elbow and for the dumbbells to come up in line with your shoulders. Once again in the video due to the angle of the camera it looks like my arms go higher than where my shoulders are. Once again, take a minute's rest and then repeat this superset two more times before we move on to our final exercises. Final two exercises we'll be doing are lying overhead extensions, otherwise known as skull crushers and bicep curls. So for the overhead extensions, we want to be lying flat with our core engaged, for our arms to come up straight above our chest and for our elbows to bend towards the floor over our head so we obviously don't crush our heads if you drop the weight and for the to come back up and to really squeeze the triceps when you come to the top. And once again, we'll be doing 10 reps of each exercise and for three sets with a minute's rest in between. Next we move on to bicep curls, so we want our elbows to be locked to our sides and for our dumbbells to come right up to our 
shoulders so the forearm should be touching the bicep muscle without the arms moving from the side of the body. It is really important to ensure that you are doing a full range of motion with this exercise. So you want to bring your arms straight back to your sides. So it is a longer range of motion for the muscle to be worked harder. For the final time, take a minute's rest and then repeat this two times round as we lead into our cool down. Start this cool down off. We are going to be doing arm twists. So we want our arms to the side and twist them back, and this will relieve any aching or tension in the biceps. I just do this a few times and hold for a few seconds before releasing. Next, we will be moving on to a chest stretch. So we want our hands on our hips and to push our elbows together. Next, we move into a back stretch. So we want to hinge at the hip, bring our hands over our heads and pull our shoulder blades apart. When you are ready, release your stretch. Bring one arm across your body for a shoulder stretch. We want to be holding the meaty part of the shoulder and for your shoulder be, to be slightly dipped. And when you are ready, once again, just switch to the other side to ensure both shoulders are stretched equally. Next, we will be stretching our hamstrings. So we'll be stepping one foot forward and hinging at the hips towards the floor in order to stretch our hamstrings out and when you are ready we will be switching to the other side we used our hamstrings in exercises like bent over row so it is really important to remember to stretch the muscles that assist you with your upper body movements And to finish off today's cool down, when you are ready, come to a standing position, bend your elbow and push it back so you are touching your shoulder blades or your back depending how flexible you are and really feel your tricep release. And when you are ready, move on to the other side. And well done today, guys. You have done amazingly. I hope you have enjoyed it. And let me know if you have done it and how you got on. Thank you.